When we had last left the Arisen, they had traveled once more through Bitter Black Isle, into its deepest and darkest reaches past five million respawned monster dudes. And inside did they find the Ultra Demon, yes, the tragic villain behind everything and at the center of it all. And then they beat its ass and emerged victorious and a ghost guy came out of its chest and said a whole bunch of kind things and then was uh, romantically entwined with a ghost woman who caressed one another's cheeks and maybe they had a little smooch too and then they disappeared to heaven <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think ghosts like that go? <laughs> That's where they went. And meanwhile, uh, this this pawn that looked a lot like the ghost was still stuck here. And there was Barack. <laughs> now, now it was time to return back. Yes, back to the mainland. Back to the Everfall. After they looked around a little bit here more. This is Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Welcome back. And in between videos, we did a little bit of inventory management. I even got our stuff ID'd and we got a new weapon of Grancis Flamberge, actually. Uh, pretty neat. Let's see. It is not yet better than our current weapon by but a smidge. I mean, that's it. If something is weak to slash, then, hey, there you go. Right. But, uh, yeah. It's stagger and knockdown power is incredibly close, you know? So I'm thinking, hey, if we find... If we find something good, we rest, if, we'll if we find a dragon, we ought equip it and try and get it dragonforged. Why not, right? Extra Anything else new here? No. Okay. Should we go poke in here real fast? I don't know. By the way, I think we've got a new quest here? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Collect 20 macabre sculptures? Gets you trophy boots. If I can just collect the blasted sculpture, something will happen. I know they're the key to getting out of here. I know it as sure as my own name. And yet, the exhilaration I once felt is fading fast. How many of the damnable things must I find? Am I a fool for hanging my hopes upon them so? I guess I will accept it. Why not? Okay. Good. Should we check over here? Is this locked again? Yeah. Okay. We'll run in a little bit, and like I said, we'll open the Moonbeam Gem doors. We'll get a little taste of, like, the new souped-up version of Bitter Black Isle. But like I said, we'll, uh, we'll cut our grinding adventure a little epitaph, short. Perhaps. Due to the sequel that has been 13 years or so in the making. Finally peeing on the horizon, right? And understand if there were ever an understandable reason, I feel to to cut it short, I feel that this is it, you know? Okay. Let's head on in. Great. And over here, let's let's take a peek in this. Anything good? A font of constitution. Okay. You know, I never thought about what font they maybe used to write that thing. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. Anything in here? Holy shit. There are spiders still to this day. Okay. Is there a reason to travel? Oh shit. All right, fine. Oh, over here. Pop this open. Throw blast. Eh. I would like to get to the other side. There's definitely a treasure over there. Okay, oh, we can just 
we can just go up the ladder if we can't make this. Ah, uh, there we are. Good. Demons periapt. Lovely. Are there new spawns for the macabre sculptures now? Have they returned? Oh shit. I don't know if they've returned, but there's definitely one up here. I wonder what happens if you get all of them. I can't imagine anything important really happens aside from you just get the quest complete and you get a little... little item, you know? Okay. Scrag a beast. Good, let's travel on through here. Back to this area. Oh, look! Okay. Tis a Saurian, sir. Yeah, I, I see it. Let's uh, let's change our weapon. This may actually be better against a Saurian. Oh fuck! I'll mirror your spell. The tail is severed. I don't know if it was better, but Perhaps it kind of felt that way. Why should we avoid See further battle? Is there just this one? Seems like it. The tail is severed. Yeah, look at that. We're chopping through it big style. Why have you had quite enough of battle? We've, we've scarcely even begun. Dragon Knight's Helm? Oh, shit. Okay. If only our current helmet wasn't so amazing. We're really playing it fast and loose with these chest openings, aren't we? Okay. Is there another one in here? I think not. Okay. There we are. Light Cure. I guess we'll take that. Let's do a save. I don't know if there's any big fucked up creature here in this, like, courtyard area. Oh, there is! Story. It's a Gore Chimera. And a cloaked chameleon Saurian. And Holy the shit! What's the grim fucking reaper, dude? Reaper comes or is it? The tail is severed. Now, God, are we gonna have to deal with this fucker? I combine now. The ghost is silenced. Oh my gosh, I think we may. Just gonna take this stuff real fast, if I can. Whoa, it's gonna chop me! Fucker! Fuck you, fuck you, death! Fuck you, grim fucking reaper! Oh my gosh. Get the fuck out of there! Fuck that dude. Jesus. <laughs> oh man. What an asshole. Oh man! We'll get nowhere while it's a law. Good god! Okay. Out of the fire and into the fire. Tis aloft. Brace for a dive. Yeah, how how do we how do we get it? Oh no, it's shooting a, a hot. Try try shooting it with your magic. Try shooting it with your magic. Please shoot shoot it with the magic that you have. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit, that's Gordon. Oh my gosh, this fucking dog. Gordon, you have like full immunity to possession, though. Attack when it reels. Man, that was pretty fucking efficacious. I'll scale it and strike from above. Stop its fire, Brent. 
Uh, Was it gonna do one of these fucking? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I, I guess I'll take one of these. Oh! Oh, it's trying to shoot me again. Look, everybody's clung onto it. I mean, that's probably the safest place to be. Assuming they can hold no. on. I forgot that straight up, like, enemies would be out here now. What the fuck happened to them all? Use my support. We'll get nowhere okay. while it's aloft. Let's get a res going on here. For Felmina. I got you. I was clumsy. It is a troubling foe. Okay, can we ground this thing or what? Oh my god, I jumped its hellhound's blast. Oh, Gordon is still. <laughs> Gordon is up there crawling around. Look at that! Look at Gordon up there crawling around on it. Doesn't even know what to do. Gordon's just up there, not even really attacking it, just crawling. Gordon's going worm mode. Okay. Can I maybe grab its tail while Gordon's, like, crawling? Fuck, I don't think so. Oh, Gordon fell big time. Oh, hell yes. We could but stop its fire I cannot take much more. It's a troubling foe. Jeez. Okay. Okay. my support. Good God. Find that breath. Stop. Oh shit. Okay. Let's get into the position. Nice. I think we can just always shut it down now from doing that. Let's see. Let's use the vivifying. Not. No, they hold the advantage. I'll steal it and strike from above. Jeez. We could but stop. It's fire Please help me. Refreshment is in order. Rain steel upon it. Fucking A. Okay. Let's get some of this. Yeah, I'll hold off on that. There we go. That's good enough. Let's get our allies back. Is this like a new version of this creature? Cause it's it's doing a lot. Feels a lot more powerful. Everyone, be here. I've an ailment. Good gravy, dude. Please help me. I'll scale it. Oh my god. Strike from above. Jesus. Okay. Let's see if we can charge up anything here. Is it actually grounded right now? Oh my gosh, I can't even get the cast off. Okay. I'm hesitant to even go in too hard on this. Like, I'm not sure if, if we can take it out. Okay. Fuck it. We'll see how it goes. I have an ailment. Oh my gosh. Yeah, our pawns are getting wiped the fuck out. I heal all our wounded. It's a gun. An opening. Rain steel upon it. 
Hey, Impirashi! Attack when it reels! I'll aid you at once! Okay. You've my support! Find those wing beats! Mary and Ash will remain after that place. Good. It grabbed me. Is this gonna kill me? Fuck it. Let's see what happens. None may touch the arisen. Okay. An opening. Sheesh. The horn is destroyed. Rain steel upon it. Okay. Let's see if we can get over here in time. Fuck, I don't think so. Let's go over and get our pawns. Oh, fuck. Eh, I'll use it. Let's get a little risky here, why not? Okay. Oh fuck, I'm getting cooked! Okay. How do we fight such a thing? Mind that breath! An opening! Rain steel upon it! I'll mirror your spell! Oh shit, I'll just try and keep it locked down, I guess. Okay. Oh God! Have we even hurt the beast? We actually have. We, we've not done too too horrible. Scales are hard as steel. Its breath burns all in its bark. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do I want to? Fuck it. Let's let's do it. Let's let's play a little. Fast and loose here. It's a troubling foe. Right? Okura Asha Kirai. I'll steal it and strike from above. Maybe charging up an arc of deliverance ain't worth it here, you know? Let go, fiend! It's breath burns all the time. Hey, you beat me. Attack when it reels! I'll aid you at once. An opening! Fuck. Okay. Man, we may yet kill it. Rain steel upon it. Am I am I am I killing it? Okay. Shit, Gordon's up there. Can the tornado actually deal damage while it's airborne like that? Man, it's we'll flapping around real fast. We cannot reach it from ground. We cannot gain the upper hand. Okay. This will restore a bit of health. There must be some way to create an opening. I cannot take much more. Hey, Impirami. I'm on my own. Attack when it reels. It is a troubling. Good. Let's get some more health, I guess. We've hurt the beast. I cannot take much more. Oh shit. Okay. No. Oh man. Oh for fuck's sake. Should I should I burn another one? Fuck it, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's burn another one. Why not? Let's see. Where's our other ally at? Okay. I better get this gr this Grant's flamberge upgraded here. How do we 
fight such a thing. It's about to roast me. While it's oh shit. Okay. Well, it only does one tick. Tis a troubling foe. We cannot reach it from the ground. On solid ground, oh. advantage is ours. Oh my god. No, they hold the advantage. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, yeah, it gave more XP, I think. It gave like a million or something? Did I actually get a Dragon Forge? I don't think I did. No. I guess the, uh, the, uh, what, what did that say? A Great Dragon Alula? Supple Dragon Pelt? Fire Drake Fang? If you're tired, rest. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the Dragon Forge chance remains the same as its like easier, lower XP counterpart, right? All right. Well, what can you do? Let's go inside of this area. We got these two moonbeam or three moonbeam gems. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Oh shit! Is it the other's corpses? Okay. I don't, I don't know what we drew out there. Was it a cursed dragon or something? Ring of perseverance. That doesn't seem too good. Okay. How about here? Dragon's ire. Okay. What all did we pull? Oh, shit. Is this like a new powerful version too? You've my support. Good God, man. Okay. Let's go check out this. I wonder if I get iframes while I do that. A trophy jacket? Okay. Should we try and kill it? I guess we could. The heart is unprotected. Attack when it rains. Okay. Are we doing much to it? Not our meat and vegetables. I'll combine my magic with yours. I'll steal it and strike from above. The boon of light. Now we'll gain the upper hand. It's falling to attack it head off! There, there we are. Point of light upon its chest. Strike at its breast. I'm coming oh, to help. Oh shit! Uh, this might suck. As best you can. That's not that tough. I'll strike from above. See if we can charge up an arc of deliverance. Let's do a tail whip. Rain steel upon it. Get about seventy-five percent of the way there. Can we get another one while it's reeling in slow-mo? Hell yeah, we can. Good. Can I do another one still? It's fully to attack it head on. Alright, let's wait for it to come down. Poisoned. Yeah, not quite good enough. Let's see. We need some curatives here. Let's get the sauce. Rain steel upon it. I'll scale it and strike from above. An opening. I cannot move. No. They hold the advantage. 
This will restore a bit of health. All right, let's try and charge up another arc here. Oh fuck, I'm gonna get grabbed, aren't I? Coming to help. Jeez. Struggle as best you can. Okay. None may touch the arisen. Let's charge up an arc here. Oh fuck. Okay. Let's restore health. I'll scale it and strike from above. Rain steel upon it. Attack when it rains. <laughs> I think that's the big super stagger, yep. Good. It's... Stinky breath isn't too, like, horrifying of an attack. Good. Oh shit, I'm tired as fuck. Okay. Let's eat some shroomage. Now we'll gain the upper hand. I'll scale it and strike from above. Attack oh, when it's it like means. running around chomping. Oh, that was about perfect. Holy shit. Nice! Rain steel upon it! Did I get a Dragonforged weapon? Come on, come on. Oh yes! Oh my gosh! And our chest piece also. Cool. You know what? I feel good about that. Sure, we burnt a couple wake stones, but what? Psh, they're like a dime a dozen. Besides, we need to go through the the Everfall a fair amount, don't we? Okay. Oh shit! I'm coming to help. No! Take care, you don't become a meal. Oh, thank fuck. I combine my magic with yours. Now we'll gain the other hand. What more spells? No. Let's have these tentacles off. This object. There we go. I've had quite enough of that. Did it? Good God, man. Okay. Take care, you want poison. Anything else we should take while we're out here? I mean, I guess we could... <laughs> we should probably save. We should probably save. Honestly, the Cursed Dragon was a lot easier than the... the actual Drake. Right? There we are. Is there something in this? Fuck it, I'll open it. Best we brought cures for Twilight Greaves. Okay. I think the green warish out here, like, degraded. Wasn't it normally king warish all around? Maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe there was a mix. Okay, let's search that. Sorrow stones. Okay. Well, I'm down to head on back up. You know, I'm- I'm good for that. I think we've come and seen all that we care to for the time being. But yeah, as you can see, stuff goes up in power level. Treasure, perhaps? As well, there's way more plentiful loot. And you're sort of encouraged to get your- your whole situation dragonforged all the way up, right? Which- does Bitter Black Isle also scale with hard mode? Like, if we were here on normal Bitter Black Isle without the hard mode enabled, um, would it be significantly easier? I feel that's the case, but I, I don't know. Okay, up here, anything? Rift by crystal, sure. Uh, should we go, should we just go through here? Just see what's in here? Why not? Let's let's just take a let's just take a little peek. Let's just take a little look. Right? Oh, the Rotunda of Dread. Oh yeah, this one was quite difficult the first time through, right? Oh shit, it's a bunch of elder ogres, I think. Go Cyclops. 
Or no, are they all Gore Cyclopes? Yeah, I think it's just four of them chilling. I don't have a quest for them, do I? Let's take a peek. Elder Ogre's Garm. Okay, no. So fuck that. I'll jump along the top here and collect their loot loot. And then be on our way. What are they doing? Are they dancing? Platinum ring. Good. Okay, and then let's lift stone out of here if I have one. Which, if I don't have one, I think Gordon does. Yeah. Okay. And let's use it. There we are. As you can see, it's probably a bit slower going the Here's second the time through. I would, I would argue, because things are just significantly tougher, it seems. The air is heavy and that said, if you know what you're doing and how to fight the enemies, seems maybe it is quicker. I don't know. This place. She bears a melancholy air. Okay. Can you ID our I stuff? I must believe my claiming this body, my calling you here, held some meaning. Pray permit me to help you now as before. I would dearly welcome the sense of purpose. There we go. Good. Fiendish Essence, Mystic Knight's Ring. Yeah, it is wild that we never got a single ring that is really, like, useful for myself or Gordon. That is kind of wild. Pray permit me to help you now as before. Pray, take Okay. What do you this sell now? Do you sell anything different? The need, what it be? Hmm. It doesn't really seem like it. I mean, I'll buy some of your restoratives, though. Okay. Good. I'll take them. Sell something new here. What is that? Hmm. Oh, the Grancis Flamberge. Uh, do you all once we ID one, do you always sell it? Maybe. Hmm. This twin paler as well. Yeah, maybe these are just the good ass weapons. Right? Well, no, it couldn't be all of them. It's probably just ones that we uncover and find. Alright, because look at Gordon's daggers. There's not that many. Okay. Sure. Good to know. That way, I guess if you, like, accidentally sell it or whatever and you have second thoughts, you can buy, buy it back for a huge amount of money. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, we should probably stow this. I must believe. Pray permit if there is aught I can. Okay. There we are. Are the Twilight Greaves any good? If there is aught, pray let's, permit let's me take a look. Pray, take there we are over here. Well, we can't use the trophy jacket, but perhaps Gordon can. This hat looks very cool. It's got little dragon wings on the side. But, uh, really not effective at all. Twilight Greaves. Gordon, are those any good for you? Oh no, it's Assassin and Ranger. Oh shit, you actually can't use that. This chess piece, however, is quite good for Gordon. Okay. Well, there you go, dude. Take it. Okay. Let's see. Can we rarify our new... If you've the... Dr newly dragon-forged items? 
Okay. Now we can do this. Our divine embrace. I'll take it. And we need Siren Patagium. Which we've not killed enough sirens to get. Oh, weird. Whatever we need to upgrade it, we don't know what they are. Huh. That's wild. Okay. But yeah, look. It is significantly better than our... Dragon's Repast. How sad. I, I, I'm if gonna miss it. No dot. It must be like, um... Hard mode Bitter Black Isle, or like post Damon only here. loot. I must pray. Permit me okay, well, there is let's stow away some of these other things real fast. There we are. Get our encumbrance down. If okay. There is pray, pray, take and how about Gordon's chess piece? This his new one. If you Can we rarify that? Oh, Snowy Saurian Skin and Argentine Sack. Well, I'll do a baseline upgrade. Why not? Okay, you've cool. No All right, well, holy shit, we spent kind of a while here. Let us head on back to the mainland and we'll do a little bit of running around. There we are. Head on back to Grand Soren, which... <laughs> Sort of the double-edged blade that is Bitter Black Isle, as cool as it is, is that it kind of trivializes part of the core game's sort of endgame loop, wherein you go down into the Everfall, and you kind of, like, Such grind all that shit out. Okay, speaking of which, we should probably rest and then go into offline mode, now that I remember. All right. Before I forget. Take a look at that. Here, and, okay. And pick, we'll just rest till morning. Understood. Okay. See if we get anything by way of uh, accessing the server. Man, it is taking a while. Maybe we did get something? No. Okay. There we are. And... Let us swap into offline mode. Connectivity offline. Save. Okay. Good. All right. And then let's head on out over here. And we'll just jump down there. Right. Or should I should I get as many of the wake stones as I can possibly muster? Nah, we'll just jump in for now. Right? It's not like we're not coming back up. Okay. The Ever Force Beast. I did not think it possible. Yeah, well, let's uh let's go for it. There we are. We start. Ooh. Oh, I actually did it properly? Holy shit. I've always just fallen on it. <laughs> it actually does like a little cutscene and everything. Wow. Okay. Hey, who are you? Are you just a pawn? Yeah. Pawns be chilling here. Okay. Oh, I kind of miss the slightly different vibe of the core game music, right? Let's do a save. And we'll peek in. We'll do a little look. Chamber of Anxiety. <laughs> Who hasn't been in this chamber? Who amongst us hasn't been in the Chamber of Anxiety? <laughs> Oh shit, people be talking. Oh god. 
All right. Good luck, I you all. My magic with yours. Maybe I can just barely hit it. Hell yes. There we go. Fuck it right. Beautiful. Two wake stones from that shit. Fireworks well. Yeah, look, it's is appalling how little XP we get from them. We have triumphed. In the core game, was the level cap still two hundo? Or was it only by way of Bitter Black Isle that it went up higher? Okay. Ooh. Little, little boom there. I actually kind of like this music. It's kind of doing it for me. There's a there's a sadness to it. Oh, uh, this is our character creation music. Gosh, I, I've completely forgot how long we have been away. Okay, well. Not much we can do here, at present. Gosh, you know what, though? Core game, full of fucking big money. Okay, let's head on out. There we are. I'm very curious if when we get to Dragon's Dogma 2, if I will have a change of heart once more. Because I did begin this with the full expectation that I would um, play through as a mystic knight, but uh, it just wasn't doing it for me, and Warrior was extremely doing it for me, <laughs> right? In lieu of not having uh, either of the like dual dagger classes available to me. Man, Warrior was really just uh, exactly what, pff, fuck, okay. Okay. Can I skip that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Alright. Man, did we just jump to the exact same one, actually? No, the Chamber of Woe. Very different. <laughs> some, would, some would say incredibly similar to the Chamber of Anxiety. But it's actually very different. Oh, great. There's another... Another one of these fuckers. Okay. More of its kind yeah. are coming. More of its kind are coming. There, Master! Liches! Go, just absolutely annihilating them. Die! You've my support. Oh shit! I'm on my way. I'm surprised there's no items or whatever that give you a higher um, rate of getting out of those, the holds, the grapples. You know, maybe there is. Maybe like stagger resistance and stuff like that also affords you grapple resist. Something like that. Okay. Let this strike blend into us. The undead are weak to holy light. I'm not sure if I'm landing any hits with my. Yeah. There we are. Look at this! There's like a million wake stones here. Holy shit. Also, we don't have to worry about little fucking nasty guys popping out either. Okay. Also, a whole bunch of folks rode in with varying amounts of information on my questions last time. Both uh, adding extra info and, and uh like, confirming some of my suspicions and all that, right? Absolutely, if you're just auto-playing through the playthrough and you are curious about some of that stuff, feel free to also just check the comments in the prior video, because there are quite a few of that nature. Quite a few very helpful ones. Uh, that said, before you do that, there are also a few, like, end-game spoilers for the core game, you know? And also, true enough, 
Yeah, a Risen can 100% become and do become dragons. There's a very special way in which that happens. And in fact, the different dragon types, the minor types, are directly associated with like your three starter classes, right? So, you know, you've got your like yellow class, like Strider. You've got your blue class, like Mage. You've got your red one, like Fighter, you know? Well, corresponding to those, um, a Strider or yellow class Arisen would turn into a Wyvern. Or was it a Worm? Whichever one, uh, <laughs> the, you know, one of them. It, it turns into one of them. The Drake is like the Warrior. Um, and then Wyvern and Worm, I forget which is which. But yeah, true enough, that can happen. And you can even kind of see it happen My in a way. We belong to no in a cool way. But uh, I, I had absolutely no idea about that, given the fact that when I beat the game initially, it was... Um, it was... with... Bitter Black Isle with Dark Arisen already installed. Right, because I believe the PC version that came out after the fact only arrived as such. Okay, let's do a save since we've kind of gone through two of these already. We're, we're flying through them. They're sort of randomly done up as well. Beware Look, are we going to get one of these dudes? Use my support. God, I hope. Cool. cool tree root. Okay. Take some of that milk. Busting these up for something nice. To share this journey with you, and an honor besides. Best we brought cures for various ailments. They may save our lives. Okay, let's head over here. Watch for those tentacles. Watch for its spells. I'll strike its Good. tentacles. Anything else over here? Ooh, a booby trap. Oh, shit. I don't know what the hell it did. Okay, what's inside here? Chamber of Sorrow. Oh. You've my support. I count you sacred radiance. What's your spells? I'll strike his tentacles. Let's have these tentacles off. Jesus. Okay. How do we take out the little one? Is are we needing um, wizard's magic to deal any damage there? Perhaps. Gobos, the upgraded versions though. Great. They grow frenzied. Okay. Part of me is super excited for people who aren't like deranged weirdos like myself or really like like us here in this video as well watching right now uh, who, you know, uh, there, there's a strong likelihood that there are people watching this before Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out and perhaps they're playing along with Dragon's Dogma 1 have played along or they're just watching it and saving up for the sequel because it looks cool and they want to get some background on the first game right i would just as well imagine that there'll be plenty of folks who assuming the game hits off in a major way which it looks like it will and i hope it does but uh, a lot of folks who will just get into it for the first time and they'll get to experience the weird sort of um I don't know, like we said last time, the weird rug pull that Dragon's Dogma is very capable of and loves to do. Which, like I said, I'm I'm assuming it will exist in the sequel. In some fashion. At, at minimum, new players will probably get a hit out of it. I'm very curious if they'll be able to do something to, like, astonish folks who played the first game 
And just as well, lest we forget, there was, I think, a, like, Asian server or, like, Asian demographic only Dragon's Dogma Online that. that existed. And I want, I want to say it was only available in, like, Japan or South Korea or China or something like that. Definitely Japan, and I think the others as well, right? Um, I don't know how much continuity it will have between inside. that. And I don't really know really anything Beware about Dragon's Dogma Online. Like, did you have pawns in that? Given the fact that it was like an online, you know, multiplayer situation? There was like actual co-op? I don't know. Either way, it is it is not up and running anymore. As far as I know. Oh shit, okay. Feels like no other I think we're alive. fine. Stay vigilant, Arisen. Just gotta save, but we got the auto save going. I'll draw it near. I'll gosh, we fought ones down. like five million times the size of this. Oh my gosh, and I'm gonna die. Okay. Let's see. Let's get the King Warish. Good God, man. You've my support. Oh, can I hit it now? No. Well, I'm on add control then. Maybe the tentacles on it I can take out. Yes, it's down. Give no Yes. We may just kill it. Look at Gordon fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I kind of do like the power disparity though. Right? I kind of don't mind it. After how how much we were like fucking out there in the trenches slugging it out and shit in Bitter Black Isle. It is kind of a welcome reprieve in a way. Like I don't mind so much. Okay. Let's get some of these. Oh, yeah, look. It's That's rain like and sauce and milk. That sounds disgusting. Or delightful, I guess, if you're... If you're into that, you know what? I ain't gonna yuck your milk yum. Let's see. Get some of that. Cool. Jeez, and Pete, how do we get out of this? Is it after, once we go through the next door, we're gonna actually get out of here? I think maybe this encounter with the Beholder, the faux Beholder here, is perhaps even more wild when you consider Bitter Black Isle, because there's just like an upgraded version of this. There's, there's just one of these, but even bigger. You know, <laughs> like by those by those standards, this is like a baby one, right? The one that we fought on Bitter Black Isle was was titanic. Like its eye was the same size as that one's entire bo entire body. Okay, let's see. Oh shit, we're back in the Chamber of Sorrow. Where in the hell am I? Maybe we will find a, a gigantic one. Off. The tentacles renew without end. Watch for those tentacles! I, I've had quite enough of battle. Okay. What do we got over here? We got anything good? I'll sift through it. A sword. Anything up here? There's some ore. Probably nothing of value. Yeah, copper and gold. Core game stuff. I love the higher end core game curatives though remain relevant. Like, sure, half spud milk doesn't heal us too much, but we're still getting the sauce on occasion here. My magic with yours. Okay. Got some more woot loot. Balmy incense? Now that's good. Harspud sauce again? Cool. Okay. Great. Oh fuck, can I actually get out of here? 
Watch or is, is this but a fool's errand? Let's have these tentacles off. Huh? I'll strike his tentacles. Perhaps we could avoid further battles. I think Gordon just. <laughs> Did you hear Gordon's like anime exertion noises? <laughs> <laughs> Gordon exerting in anime. <laughs> oh, fuck. I love that. Okay. I don't even know what I was about to say. I just completely forgot. It's a Plyfelmina's oil there. Good. Okay. Yeah, I think we're... Watch for those a little tentacles. fucked here, huh? You've my support. Let's have these tentacles off. Because I don't Beware think I can go tentacles. through that uh, that barred doorway, can I? Strength in numbers arisen. I mean, maybe if I interact with it. I don't. I don't think so, though. Yeah, look. It will not open. Well, why the hell not? Okay. How many wake stones have we gotten just from doing this? Shit, seven? Good lord. Good place to just farm up a bunch of stuff, you know? Okay. Useful for the uh, Bitter Black Isle trials and tribulations, right? Let's have these tentacles off! It's grown another! I'll strike its tentacles! He's so, he's so good about saying tentacle. I don't know. It's just great. <laughs> Let's see. Any cool stuff up here? Let's see. Big money. Okay. Anything on this other side? Flask of oil? Nah. Tentacles. I'm watching the tentacles for him, renew without end. I'll strike his tentacles. Perhaps we could avoid further battle. <laughs> God. I don't I don't know why it's so fucking dope how he says it. I don't know what's fucking good about it, but it is. Look at that, the pawns are intelligent enough to jump it. That is wild. Okay. Not, not like, you know, intelligent. Not to be like, Gordon, you're an idiot. But, you know, like, their their pathing is sophisticated enough to be able to accomplish that. That's what I'm saying. I've had quite enough of battle. Metal something. Okay. Well, we had another route. I guess we'll just go through this one. Fuck it, right? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, we're back here. Okay. You know what? My That's probably for the best. Lands. We belong to no world. I suppose when next we return, we're going to keep jumping down here, right? We're going to keep jumping down and jumping around. Um, I'm not sure if we want to have an encounter with the great fucking wildebeest that resides here. Should we do that? The, re the very reason that I went to offline mode? I'm not sure if I remember how to activate that. <laughs> I, by way of just continuing... Won't it happen? Right? That's my memory of it. Maybe I'm fucking wrong, though. Uh, but yeah. Maybe we'll just do this for a bit until we encounter that wildebeest. Um, also, we are very much rapidly, rapidly building up our supply of wake stones. Up to, I think it was 20 that we needed, right? Yeah, we'll never know. We'll have to check our, our quest log. Anyway, when next we come back... We will continue plunging ever deeper into the mystical and magical depths of the Everfall. Uh, somehow, it just keeps going, and then you loop back up into the sky, and you keep going again. It's just nonstop uh, fun all the way down. Gosh, I can't wait to see what kind of weird shit they come up with for the sequel, if there's something such as this in such a wild fashion, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, this is really something. Uh, I, I wonder if they'll have some sort of weird mind-bending puzzle in the sequel in such a way. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm so curious about how they execute on it, right? Because, of course, you know, 
let alone their expertise as, as developers has grown. Uh, but so too is the tech. Man, it's in the fucking RE engine, Dragon's Dogma 2, if you didn't know. Yeah, the same fucking engine that the new Resident Evil games are in, as well as the, like, new remakes of the old ones. And, um, I believe the newer Monster Hunters. It's kind of like a, a, a really wild engine that's capable of some, like, really wild bits of action, right? I'm curious how much sort of, like, world simulation stuff... I, I mean, I hesitate, to, I hesitate to say, like, world simulation, but, you know. Dragon's Dogma has, like, a rough amount of physics where you can pick this up and throw it, you know? It, it has shit like that. You're climbing around on monsters. I'm curious to see the full breadth of that, aside from what, um, what we see already present in, like, the Resident Evil games, you know? And certainly, I, I don't think we've really seen the full breadth of how it will be pulled off in the new Monster Hunter, like, core game or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super duper curious to see how, how it works out, right? I'm, I'm very curious. Espe like I said, especially with regards to the way in which you can interact with the world and the way in which it simulates the world. Because as it stands right now, um, Dragon's Dogma, I would say, is firmly in the action role-playing game uh, realm, but I wonder if the engine is capable of doing like a a Bethesda sort of live another life sim role playing game, you know? Because people often shirk at the at their engine and whatnot, and say like, "Oh, it's a, such a shitty old out of date engine," but it is doing some wild shit that you really do not see in other engines, right? I think. Um, a lot of that criticism comes from a place of um, folks who don't really fully understand uh, what the fucking engine <laughs> is capable of and what it what it necessarily means and, and does and like the whole iterative idea behind it and whatnot, right? Either way, regardless of what it's capable of, I am I'm very excited just just to see it, right? Even if it does. Uh, still remain firmly planted within the action role-playing game subgenre of RPG. I mean, it's gotta be a good one, right? It sure shit seems like it. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be wild if the real Dragon's Dogma 2 rug pull is that. Uh oh, the game's actually bad, <laughs> right? Because based on all the previews of that, that, like people who went out from like press and all of that went out to go and actually play it, all the little gameplay videos. Seems like it's like if you if you like Dragon's Dogma One, you're gonna fucking love the second one, right? All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>